guys, hello and welcome to Cavern Kings, which you can, um, beta, 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 turns big from, should be beta for me, but I probably will say beta. Now that is that all rambling out of the way, you get this by supporting it on Kickstarter, and then you will also, if you support $10 or more, you will get this, and you also get the game when it comes out, which I'm looking forward to. So you control this little guy, you know. And the first thing you pick up is this. It can be a jackhammer, it can be a shovel, it can be um, a fist. And at each level you have to dig down to the next bit. So I'm using PC controls and the you also get this a gun, there are several different ones. I hate this gun with a passion. I ow, I really do. So each level you will get enemies, which you can kill for XP and loot. You can break like all the blocks, like if you don't want these spikes being there you can do that and get rid of them. You all you get a double jump. You can get like upgrades which will give you like a triple jump later on and stuff like that if you find them. There's a level up. You get these crates which drop loot such as items and cash by which I mean gems and see you can drop power ups, you can drop health. Basically a good time. So let's go down the level. You get these um <coughs> sorry my throat is kind of wrecked apparently. You get those TNT blocks up here. I'm not sure if that will appear because I think I have this that's not called my mouse cursor. I guess this counts as a mouse cursor. I'm not sure. Uh, TNT cannon is very powerful. But I don't like it. It has horrendously bad range. And it can kill you. Quite easily. If you... Because it has friendly fire. And I have no doubt that's how I, I will die in this run. It's from this. So at the bottom right you can see the level we're on, like how deep down we are. We aim to keep going deeper. Might be um, old game mother load. <laughs> and some levels have different little gimmick things like this is a water level. Ow! See? Friendly fire with the TNT can. Told you. Ow! He gets interesting. Ow! Damn it, I killed myself. <laughs> told you! Told you! They get little trophies, different things. Open 50 plus chests, kill 100 plus golems, 100 plus eye kids, broke 50 plus crates. And I got this for beating a certain boss. And I was going to beat the other one, but another boss, but then my game crashed, which is to be expected as we are in beta. Here's another one of those gimmicky levels. Different little features. Oh, I love this gun. If you can get the guns with late game, it is amazing. Um, ow! Because late game, you can get better upgrades such as it fires more bullets so you can fire like free sword blades you can get certain upgrades if you like poison on your weapon so you will have like two or three sword blades spinning around dealing poison damage to enemies as they hit them ow it is amazing it's the greatest thing since sliced bread and sliced bread's pretty damn good so on the ice holes, whenever you attack, you get like bounced back. And in the water holes, you get things like you move incredibly slowly, which is a pain in the butt. Oh damn, that's a lot, of guys. Um, oof. pro dodge skills by me. Yeah, the water levels can be annoying because of the slow movement, and the ice levels can be annoying because of the kickback, because if you are in the middle of some enemies, and you k 
kill one side, you will get knocked into the other side. It's not a good time, essentially. Oh, ow. So, you want to open these chests. They contain power-ups. And later in the game, you will find more expensive chests. Which contain sometimes better power-ups. Or sometimes the same. Ow, god damn it. I wanted to knock my chest down, but I forgot about the freaking ice level. Another little thing for the water levels is... The fact you have basically infinite jumps because you're swimming, not jumping. No, grab the health, damn it. I didn't even need it, but still. OCD collection type thing. This gives me more. And uh, in the top screen, it shows you what you get. So I get now I get this little laser sight. I'm sure, where I'm aiming instead of just my mouse. But so I'm not sure if you can see the mouse as I said before. Uh, so. As you may have noticed by this point, each level ends with this massive saw blade. Would you say? No, massive drill. Coming down to fuck you up. To put it lightly. So I'm just going to wait here for a second. Okay, no more enemies at spawn, so we might as well go down. So basically, the aim of each level is you want to open the crates, open the chest. Kill enemies for XP, gather loot so you can open chests later on, that type of thing. And then you want to get powerful enough to survive the next level, basically. Okay, you get odds of like passive upgrades that like you periodically throw knives. So you just randomly throw some thrown knives here and there. Can I make that jump? Ah, oh, no. But convenient thing with the saw, not saw, the drill, is it will destroy that for me so I can grab all the loot. I need to get to the loot. Kill this Joe. Not, not stun around there. You get lots of little traps like that, which you can destroy. It's actually a really fun game, even though it's only in beta, beta, whatever. It's... I'm really looking forward to the full version. It will be a lot of fun. I'm sure of it. Ow! I want to... That was not worth all the health I just lost. I just wanted to destroy that. So it wasn't causing a problem when I was trying to do the rest of the level. There's a couple crates up in that corner I want to get. So... I'm going to destroy this. And I can do that. Who? Getting a bit risky here. Whew, made it. Yeah, this can be... Oh, ow. Stupid spikes. I hate the spikes. Really hate the spikes. I think we've got another passive in there, so we, we now kill... Well, not basically. Not kill, but we do damage to all the things around us with little rockets. Which is useful, I guess, to be surrounded. I haven't got my one of my favourite upgrades yet. There's a really good upgrade which gives you passive regen. It is incredibly good. Because as you can see right now, my health's a bit low. Not that low, but still. Hang on. I had an itchy nose and I didn't feel like I could survive if I didn't itch that. <laughs> Scratch that, whatever. Okay. Also, a wonderful thing you can do with that is if you... You can just like stick on a previous level for longer and just hang out while you get a bit of health regen. Gives you... Ooh, there it is. You can also just get drops like that from random enemies, which is really nice when you do. Ow! Should we go? Yeah, there's quite a few unique enemies as well. Strike nearby enemies, so that will give me a... No, that's not what I was thinking of. Um, I just boosted up my rocket thing, so now I strike enemies that are further away. 
and possibly do more damage to them, I'm not sure. The ice can be a real hazard, as you can see, because I keep getting knocked into previous enemies, but jumping is very important in this game, because if you have seen in the water, you move very slowly, but if you swim, you don't. You move like normal speed. And in this, if you are in the air when you attack, then you won't get knocked back. So, oh, ow! Stupid spikes just wrecked me. Ow! And again! If I die because of spikes, I'm going to be mad. If I die solely because of spikes, I'm going to be ragey. Okay, so that gives us a triple jump now. Which is also a very useful power up. Crap, I'm so close to dead, so close to dead, so close to dead. Don't want to die here. Uh, uh. Do not want to die here. Oh, thank you, health. Thank you, sweet, sweet health. Whew. That was close. Oh, crap, I've... Whew, I tapped out for a second there. Whew. That's the only problem I have with this. I've got two monsters, and it's really annoying. Whew, got to get down to the next level now. Jesus. That was spooky. Stupid spikes, man. Stupid, stupid spikes. I hate these spikes so much. Okay, now I've got another little power up. We leave a trail of fire behind us, which damages the enemies when they walk on it. It's actually really good. Ow! Stupid snake. Flying snake thing. God damn it. Oof, I may die on this level. I really might. Need to get that health. Oof, need that big health. Oh, thank you, big health. Oof. That was close. <laughs> that big health might have saved me, though. So, like I said, we can just sort of hide in this little hole here and heal. Not for long, obviously, because... We were already, like, really close to the saw coming to kill us. What's in this chest? Okay, randomly fire barrage of missiles. That's pretty useful. It actually is. All the power-ups are actually really useful. Um, okay, need to get this loot. As far as I'm aware, your score is your depth. So... You need to go deeper. Pretty much. Level up. Ow, 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 ow. I believe this game is quite like... Um... What's it called? What's it called? It's called... Risk of Brain. With the whole... Collecting all these items and stuff. And having those passive things go around you like crazy. It's quite like that, but it's also very different and at a certain point you get to levels like this where you need a key to escape and you can't just dig through anywhere you see that little lock bit down here need to get to this ow nope no 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 need to kill that survey now Oh, I can't! Ow, 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 ow. I can't even kill that sword bit, that's overpowered. Oof. Oh, I didn't mean it, go to the next level! Crumbs. I want to stay on there and get the loot. Sugar. Dagnab it. That's annoying. I really want that extra loot. Could have been an extra power up or a chance to get some experience or anything. No, I had to go and do that. Well, it's just bad levels though. So. 
gonna have to dig through this way so I don't fall through the floor. I'm actually gonna wait here and have the thing kill all the enemies for me. <laughs> Because they instinctively jump over the gap. And I'm getting a lot of experience to kill on them, so. <laughs> I'm missing out on the loot, but I don't really need loot too much at this point. Boom, baby. See? Perfect. I don't have a clue what these bells do. I really don't know what the bells are about. Oh, good. More regen. They do stack as far as they so I will regen fast enough. So hopefully I should survive if I don't die at these things right now. Oh wow, they did a lot of damage to me then. That was a lot of damage. The key to them is usually hitting them in the face. Ooh, I'm mi missing out on this chest over here. Get to the chest, god damn it. Bullets explode on impact. Come on, kill these things. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just hide in this corner and kill these things. Okay, gotta get to the next level now. Whew. Gets pretty exciting, this. So, reduce all my attacks. I haven't found that to be the greatest power up. What seems okay. Ow! Only part of them ar arrive. Alive now is the heads. Which is the only part that matters. Kill the head, kill them all. Okay, we've got another jump now. Sweet. I think I've got like four jumps. <laughs> Two, three, four. Yep. That's powerful. So we can escape most situations that we need to. Unless we're trapped. Like we may well be in a minute. Let's just get to the next level. Oof, got hit there. Oh god, it's the boss. I'm getting another jump. Okay, this boss is tough. I hit I nearly beat it once and then the game crashed. Ow! See, it does so much damage. Does so much damage you've got to dodge that stuff. Oh my god, I killed it! What? I did not know I was so close to killing it. I thought you had to kill all of the eye things before you could kill it. I was misinformed. I was very misinformed. Um Grab that. Wait for the loot. Sweet. We can go to the next level. Oh, okay. Now I've beaten two bosses. Sweet. Not in this run necessarily, but oh my god, I've got so many jumps now. I've got jumps for days. My god. You can jumps for days. Jesus Christ. You can basically fly at this point. It's amazing. <laughs> we are pretty powerful. I would like to get some. Um, fire multiple bullet things, upgrades, if we can. You can see all your upgrades at the top of the screen. Oof! That was a bad place to jump, right into the explosives. Okay, let's just stand here and wait for all the enemies to get grounded up, so we get the experience. And we also get the health regen, because we have got our amazing health regen. Which has saved us a lot. Alright. Silver chest there, I want that. Oh god, there's bigger versions, there's bigger versions, there's bigger versions, there's bigger versions of these things I didn't even know these... Actually, I think I did, I think I've seen them once. And they scared me, and I cried, and then I died. Oh my god, this level's evil. Kill them all! Grab this chest. <laughs> oh my god, these things are evil. No, 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 sir. Go away. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Okay, I, f I fire multiple bullets! I fire multiple bullets! Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. 
No! No! I didn't even know he was there! God damn it! Yay, I got a... Another thing. Didn't I get a... Trophy for killing that last guy? Why didn't I get a trophy for killing that last guy? You saw I killed that guy, right? Right? I didn't dream that, right? I thought we killed that guy. The hell, game? I feel cheated. Out of my... Stuff. So... I guess we'll do one little bit more. I'll just make this one video. Um, I'm just trying to show off a different bunch of weapons, so that's how far I got. But I think that's the furthest I've gotten, actually. What's this weapon? Okay, I like this one as well. I like all weapons apart from the TNT cannon. This one has good range. There's quite a few different weapons. There's also a nail gun, which has terrible range. But it has pretty good rate of fire. So it's also a matter of preference. I can't like... Actually, I can destroy these with the, my harpoon rifle. Let's see if I can pull up the TNT. Boom. Aha. Literally. Bye bye, friend. Don't know where he was going. Guess he doesn't want to go to the next level. As you can see, it's really, actually a very good game considering it's in beta. And they are going to add more stuff, and it'll be great. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I didn't want to. Meh. Eh, get rid of that thing now. Even in its current state, it's pretty damn good. So I'm really excited to see what they add. It'd be really cool. <laughs> Add more items, more power-ups, all that type of good stuff. New weapons, maybe? I don't know. If you're a rich man, you can, like, back them so much that they will let you choose something to add. Like, character or item or whatever you like. Actually, I don't think it's whatever you... Oh, no! <laughs> Wow. Get wrecked. <laughs> oh, that was fun, wasn't it? Uh, what's this power up? Fist again. Alright, I just. I'm going to just say that's a good point to end. I've showed off a fair bit. And I'll probably play this again and record it later on. If I feel like I'm having a particularly good run, or I'm particularly enjoying it at that point, or when they release patches and stuff. Not patches from Dark Souls slash Demon Souls slash not Dark Souls 2, because he was replaced with Pate. Um, <laughs> random tangent there. Look at that amazing parkour skill right there. But you never thought anyone could do that. So good. Yeah, good game. You should probably back it. I think it's been funded so far, so you they're definitely making the game. It's just sort of if you wanna get a copy of the game for probably cheaper than the actual price will be. And if you want to get access to the beta. Beta. I am gonna say beta. I know it's beta in English, not Americanisms, but I instantly wanna say that, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you back the game. It's good. Um, probably nine point five out <laughs> for a beta, beta game compared to like some games you see on like um what's it called um early access that type of thing. You know, it's a lot better than them. Usually, it's pretty well polished. I've only had one crash, and yeah, go back to this game. 
Bye.